And that's because things are not going our way, basically. So when you turn your turning inwards and you're looking inside, looking at yourself finally, and in this expansion that's taking place is that if you're lucky, this again comes to our evolution, whether we're ready for it and it's going to click and something's going to kick us in, in, in the butt and wake us up to it, is that you start to look at the events happen in your life and take responsibility for it and refusing to be a victim. Even though if you were beaten up by your dad when you were five, six, seven years old or whatever is the story, is you take responsibility for your karma. You take responsibility for anything that has happened to you. That you start to look at it that this, in some level, in the beginning you may not remember anything, but this is a shift. That you say, okay, in some level, I had an agreement with life, with God, with these other characters that showed up in my life. They beat me, they raped me, they stole from me, they screwed me over. These are the extreme sides that I had to learn this lesson. Instead of saying that I'm screwed up because these things happened to me and I'm really screwed up and I'm continue acting based on I'm screwed up because all these things happen and poor me and I'm disadvantaged. That story doesn't take you anywhere, my friend. It doesn't free you. So if you come to me and ask me for my advice or help or the wisdom, then I'm telling you the way out is that you start shifting your consciousness by taking responsibility that I needed to be in that situation and I got screwed over, but there was a lesson for me to learn from that. I got, whatever is the story. Some of you maybe got pulled into a cult. It's a religious cult. Maybe it's a hardcore um, Christian cult. Maybe it's a hardcore Jewish cult or Muslim cult or what whatever or you connected with some guru or whatever and you're in the middle of nowhere and you got a lot of do's or don'ts and then you came out of it and you're really messed up in your head because you grew up there from childhood some of them you just lived life you you live you live um life as The, what I'm talking about is living life as just being born and being in a family and as being born and growing in a family as a girl or whatever and you're in this really um, um, regimented system that you have to be a good girl and you got to get married and especially if you're older from the older days that your dad was like God and it was a you know dictatorship and that said this and shut up and be quiet and be a good girl and follow whatever we tell you that's like a cult too it's a regimented system whatever it is so it doesn't matter the scenario, the story of what has happened, it, it does not matter, that story. What matters is for you 
to shift your consciousness, your awareness, shifting it into taking response to, to say to yourself, to look at it like, I entered to this world and I came to this world for, and I don't remember before I came what happened, I, I, but I'm here and all of these things that I went through, all of this stuff is, was a part of my evolution that I had to learn these lessons. And maybe, because you don't remember, maybe I made a deal with every character that showed up in my life. We made a deal to show up in this world for them to be the bad guy, the aggressor, and I'm the victim, and they did this to me, or maybe I did this to someone. Because each and every one of us in this life have done something to somebody else, consciously or unconsciously, that has hurt them or if we've been in a situation that something has happened. So, this is what came up for me. And I can only share with you from my personal experience, my direct experience, my direct understanding. That's all I can say. And it's up to you if you want to follow it or not, or incorporate this in your own life. See if it works for you or, or it doesn't. Obviously, the old way is not working because you're not free. So you can use that model as measuring whether you're free today or not. And if you're not free and happier, then the old model doesn't work for you. So why not give this, the new model, a chance and see what happens? And what is the new model? And I'm going to make it very simple for you so it's not really tied into a lot of esoteric language and it's not a lot of blah, blah, blah. Let's just keep it super simple, okay? Is that for me, even though that I was in a prison, even though that I was tortured, even though I had near-death experiences, even though that they took me to the point that they wanted to execute me, everything, I am not a victim. No one did wrongdoing to me. No one. I don't even go there for one second. I had to learn everything. My ego had to be smashed. I had to become humble. I had to come to near death. And through that, so many transformative events came through. So many realizations came through that maybe had I not been in that position, I would have never experienced that and I would have not come to this wisdom, to this understanding where I'm at today that I'll be in a position that I can help thousands of people and I can speak with authority because it comes from direct experience. Is that I signed a contract, I made an agreement for with each and every character that has appeared in my life that they've annoyed me or they lied to me or they love me or they cheated me or they broken my heart. Everybody taught me a very valuable lesson. Every single part of it was important equally in my spiritual development. I am where I'm at because of all those things. And I'm grateful to every single person, even the one who came to my life and lied to me, looked into my eyes, says, I love you, I'm your brother, I'm your sister, I'm your lover. And they went around me and they stabbed me with a knife. Even that person I'm grateful to.